Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance, everybody. We gotta do a quick video for all you LaFoufou loving, Joseph Carlson fluffing, meet Kevin, meet that's like here, sucking clowns. A lot of you don't understand the very basics of how money works. You fell for a fraud like Jeremy LaFave. You truly believed this man with this rainbow hat, rainbow cloud hat, is an investing genius. You really believe that. You fell for it, and you're still falling for it. And this devious little snake and his little compadres, they use very, very crafty tactics to deceive you, to make it seem like they are really good investors, when in reality, they're massive clowns just like you. So we're going to do some very basic math here, okay? This took me about 10 seconds to make. I'm going to show you that when you lose money on a stunk, it's actually a lot worse than you might think. And when you see Jeremy showing his portfolio going up 100% year to date, that means nothing, okay? <laughs> so how percentages work, and I, I try to keep this very simple is if you have a 10% loss, let's say you buy a stock and it's $100, and then it drops down 10%, so now it's $90. What percentage gain do you have to get in order to recuperate your initial investment? Now, clowns like Jeremy, who he can't spell, he doesn't know how to do math, he's, a, he's an idiot, he's a fraud, he's a loser, he's a moron. Jeremy would probably say, 10%? Because 2% do, 2% up. Wrong. It's actually 11.11%. .11%. Think about it. What is 10% of 9? Okay, you're down at 90. You need to go up 10. If you went up 10%, where would you be? 10% of 9 is 9. If you added that, you would have 99. You have not recuperated your initial investment. Okay? What about 20%? <gasps> You need 25%, 30%, you need 42%. Now, Jeremy LaFoufou is an incinerator of wealth, okay? He has lost 100% on multiple stocks. He has been obliterated. He has lost 70, 80, 90% on multiple stocks. To include tattooed trucker, sweaty, unwashed, putrescent, AIDS-infested, boil-encrusted nutsack, tattooed chef. Okay, if your stock goes down 80%, which many of his stocks did, and some went down 100%, it takes a 400% return to get back to 100. You go from freaking 100 down to $20. If you double $20, you're at $40. So Jeremy, when he shows you his portfolio, he's like, oh, look, my portfolio, which is not his portfolio, it's a separate account he's got multiple accounts and he basically just shows you the best one <laughs> he, there's so many grifts going on here if he's up 100 percent let's say he lost 50 percent of his portfolio which i think he's lost more he would be breaking even right now okay if he lost 80 or 90 percent he needs 400 percent or even 900 percent to break even do you see how percentages actually work? Take out your little calculator. I know you failed sixth grade math and do it. You will see that I am right. Okay. If you have a loss, it is very hard to recover. If you have an insane loss, it's almost impossible to recover. I mean, down 90% that's incineration. Okay. And that was many of Jeremy's stocks. So you clowns go ahead and celebrate. You really think this guy is beating the market? He said in a video he lost $3 million. And now he's up, what, a couple hundred thousand? That doesn't add up. You people are so stupid, man. I just... Uh, I don't know what to do anymore, man. Like, I guess I'll just keep making these videos and people will keep laughing at me because, you know, you bought Tesla and you just think you're so smart and... You know, investing is not about decades. It's about, you know, buying a stock and having it go up in a straight line. That means you're a great investor, not that you were lucky. It's whatever, okay? Oh, and there's this final thing. If, if you lose 100% of your investment, you need infinity percent to go back. 
This has happened multiple times to Jeremy. Oh, by the way. So I'm not impressed because his stonks are up 100%. Okay? <laughs> he only shows you the best lots. There's so many grifts going on here. I'll write about this in my book. But anyway, I just wanted to teach you some percentages for you low IQ clowns. Have a wonderful day.